Oh, the race season this year is a little different. Uh, we'll be off to Yorkton our, our second weekend, and it's a little, uh, little farther and everything else, but uh, you don't know until you try it, and uh, from there uh, we're over to Coal Lake and in Wainwright and off for Calgary, so we'll be moving down someplace close to Calgary, getting ready for Calgary again. So uh, we did it before, and like the last couple of years, been awfully good to me in Calgary, and uh, before that I had some good years, so we'll see what, what brings, and then the rest of the race season back home looks good, and uh, like I said, any luck at all, I hope to be in that final four again, and uh, finish it off. I've been three years in that second spot all the time, and I uh, hope to finish it off and uh, get the truck this year, so see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, I bought six, and I had one carryover from last year, and uh, right now that batch of new horses uh, are looking good. I guess big thing, what they can do in a race and how they can run. Uh, I'm not a firm believer to push that first year horse. He'll tell you if he wants to progress. If not, take him slow, then the second year expect him to uh, do better. Uh, yeah, I know, uh, you know, it, it's a big battle, Calgary, because that's the best of best. And uh, you go there, uh, you got to be consistent. And like I said, for every race, you get number one barrel, you hope to outturn everybody. But if you don't outturn them, who runs where and everything else? And uh, as the years have been there, the strategy has been paying off and uh, working out good. So I uh, hope to have the same year better last year, like they got that semi-final this year. It'd be nice to be in that and a uh, little luck at all to get the right barrel draw. You could be in that final heat and uh, that's my goal for I ever retired to be in that final heat. So hope it's this year. Uh, good, you know, very, uh, very proud of it that he did what he accomplished last year. You know, not many people can do that. And uh, way it worked out uh, with the horsepower we had and everything else. And uh, uh, Luke, his father, and I helped him out with a couple of horses, and uh, we set him up the right time, and uh, everything clicked. You couldn't ask. You could. I don't think you'd do it the same thing this year again. So, but uh, very proud of him. And uh, you know, he'll he'll do good. He's been there lots already, and he knows what you got to do to uh, be very competitive. And uh, uh, with him, him being there, it'll be extra workload and everything else, but we'll work around it. We did it before, and uh, like I said, very proud of him being there. Uh, the Diva Darling girls are starting a cookbook, and they got recipes and everything else, and they're going to be selling them. So, uh, give a little plug for them that anybody's wish for a cookbook from them, and uh, you'll see the new names of the new recipes. So, it'll be exciting to see, and when it's all done, so hope people uh, buy it, support the girls. They're very good.